Hi, it's Mark Langley with the National Public Safety Drone Donation Program. I'm spending the week here in Orlando, Florida, and I'm with Thor. Thor's the owner and uh, one of the owners, you've got it, a partner, of Tundra Drones. And what they've done is created this amazing lighting kit for the Mavic Series aircraft, as you can see behind me. And what's interesting about this solution is uh, that it's unlike any other lighting solution that attaches to a drone because what it does is it responds when they move the camera. Thor, tell us how you came up with this idea of do, yeah. developing this product. Yes, yeah, as, as you told the audience, we are uh, we live in the in Norway, Norway, in the Arctic part of Norway. Yeah. And in the winter time, we have three months of no sunlight. Okay, that's a toughie. Yeah, so we're used to having good lighting for cars, ATVs, snowmobiles. And then when drones became popular, it was really hard to see and fly at nighttime because you need lighting to see with the drone's camera. Mm -hmm. So we Googled and looked at Amazon. There was no good lighting solution. That's how we came up with the idea of a had to be a bright light, right. so we made a 10,000 lumen lights to really be able to yeah, see. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at your video here. It's it's really impressive what you're doing. What's your uh, altitude that you're flying about right there? Uh, this is maybe 20, 30 meters. Okay. Around less than 100 feet. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. And um, we also figured out with the new technology, computer vision coming in, it's possible to make a camera tracking light that follows the gimbal. That Very was smart. the good combination of the brightness and the synchronization. Yeah, because most of the solutions out nowadays, I don't know if, uh, if you follow this, but most of the solutions nowadays, when you before you take off, you got to set the angle of your light, right? And it either works or it doesn't. You bring it back and you've got to readjust your light. Yeah. Your uh, partner is, you said, an electronics engineer? Yeah. And uh, is he in Nor Norway now or is he here with you? Yeah, he's in Norway. He's yeah. in Norway. Yeah, he's been, he's a master's in electronics engineer. He's like our genius. He uh, can make basically everything. With he's at another level, huh? Yeah. All right. So you and I met in Vegas about two years ago? No, I, last year. Was it last year? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's been a while. No, I thought we met before that, actually. But anyways, we met in Vegas yeah. at one of the events, and I saw his technology, and I, I talked to him about this. And he was actually kind enough to work with one of the departments that we donated a drone to, uh, New Berlin Fire Department, yeah. I believe it is, right? And so they're giving him some feedback, and he's working with them to support them. So companies like this are extremely important for public safety. They help um, situational awareness, especially at night. You can see the camera, the TV behind you. It's a very bright and very innovative idea. Now, tell me, um, or you don't have to tell me, do you have other products on the drawing board that you're looking to bring to market or other drones you're going to be attaching this to? Yeah, so we are currently focusing on the lighting system for the Mavic 3. Okay. It also works for the Mavic 2, okay. both enterprise and prosumer versions. Okay. So what we are looking into now, because here in the U.S. there is this uh, politics about DJI, non-Chinese yeah. drones. So what will be the main competitor for the DJI Mavic 3 drone? Right. So that's one possible way where we could adapt our lighting to. Okay. Otherwise, we have a prototype for the Mini Light, for the Mini 2. Okay. We haven't really start, started to sell it. Okay. We have a working prototype. It's actually... Here's a non-working prototype. It's 2,500 lumens. Wow. So it's very useful for in, indoor flights, but also small outdoor inspections. Very innovative. Uh, and so you're carrying the battery on board. You're not tapping into the yeah. drone. Yeah, uh, you don't want to mess with the drone's battery because no. yeah, yeah. if something happens, it will fall down. Sure. Yeah, you don't want that happening, yeah. right? Uh, so uh, are you strictly sales in the United States, you, you're, you're selling to anyone who, like let's say somebody contacted us through yeah. our channel and said, I'd like to get this drone. Would you be able to sell these all over the world or are you limited to where you can sell these? No, currently we can sell all, all over the world. We ship to maybe 13, 14 countries Okay, now. good. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. So how's the response been to your product uh, no, since you introduced? It's been good. I think we got feedback. This is the solution they've been missing 
for doing nighttime visions. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the brightest drone light for the Mavic series. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's been good. So I sat in on a couple, they've got training classes going on here at this show at AppsCon uh, and really good training, uh, training programs for public safety, drone use, UAS. And his product came up a couple of times. Uh, there's a, a PD in California that's using his drone solution, a number of other departments that are using it as well. So I, I really wish you the best. It's a great Thank product. You. I think it's, uh, it, it fits a need and, and it really uh, solves a lot of problems. Um, are you going to be sticking back to the question, uh, do, do you have any idea maybe to go with Autel or to uh, fit, fit it to Autel or, or to make something that would fit on another type of drone? Because it looks like you're, it's, it's a custom mount you currently yeah. have for the Mavic. Um, so if you could track any camera, if yeah. you could get the mount, I guess that would be the yeah. solution, right? Yeah. So let me quickly show you here. It's oh, perfect. very easy to... Oh wow! To take this out. So, what we need to do this is a to, very, very small. How many lumens? Uh, Ten thousand lumens. Wow! Um, yeah, and this it's an external battery as well. So this is actually on a an actuator, like a yeah. a, a, um, a servo servo motor. Yeah. servo motor. Very cool. It's very light too. And this is the battery. Yeah. How much flight time do you uh, lose by adding this payload? Uh, depending on the weather conditions, between uh, 25 and 40 percent. 25 and 40 percent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, the the Mavic's got a pretty good flight time to yeah. begin with, so. That's... Yeah. Well, uh, let's say if you can't see at night, then you basically have zero flight time. That's good point. Yeah. But of course, you can have some visual with thermal, but sometimes you need to see with your RGB camera. Yep. And that's what where our solution comes into Excellent. play. Excellent. So I was saying. We can redesign the plastic to fit the design of other small drones that look like the okay. Mavic. So, I see what you're saying. So we are now monitoring what will public safety start to use I see. in addition to the Mavic 3, which is being used so, all across the So country. on the drone, just so people understand how this is working, you see this right here. Your device sees that tilting yeah. and responds accordingly, correct? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I can quickly show you here. It's very easy to mount. It's a two-step process. Now it's mounted. Wow. So this is the mini camera. Okay. Oh, it's a it's an actual camera. Yeah. And that tracks tracks that angle. red line. Yeah. It tracks the angle. Very smart. And then automatically adjusts the light. Very, very smart. Yeah. So wherever that camera's looking is where that light's going to be. Yeah. Wow. So again, this is why we support public safety. That it's it's innovation like what Thor's come up with with his company that really helped make a difference for public safety. And again, we got a lot of good feedback uh, from a couple of classes that I attended on this solution. So if you're looking for the solution, contact us. We'll put you in touch with his company. And we'll make sure that uh, we get one out to you if you if you would like to purchase this. So um, again, we appreciate what you're doing yeah. uh, to help support public safety. I wish you all the best, and I'm sure I'll see you at another show, right? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. What what's on your agenda for next show in the United States? Um, currently, there's many options, so we haven't really decided yet. But, okay. So uh, follow us on LinkedIn to get to know okay. more. Okay. And what's your website? Uh, tundradrone.com. Tundra drone. Yeah. We'll we'll post it on the video uh, here below. Yeah. You'll see it, and we'll we'll actually have some photographs of the product and everything on our video. So again, thank you yeah. very much. Comment, like, and share our videos. Please support what we're doing, and together we can help make uh, public safety safer one donation at a time. Thanks. Appreciate your time. Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah. Really good. <laughs>